Okay guys, let's, uh, let's talk about setting our front end alignment. And what we're doing is basically setting the toe in or out on the front end of our go-kart in order to adjust the alignment. So to make this change, what you have is you have your two tie rod ends and they each have a locking bolt on them. And what you'll notice about these tie rod ends is they're opposite threaded. So let me show you real quick if we install these on our tie rod. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to back the locking nut all the way off as far as you can. Just like that. And if we hold this tie rod by both ends as if it was installed onto our go-kart, what we can do is we can actually just spin the tie rod and what you'll notice is that's actually increasing the length of the tie rod assembly. So you'll notice now we have a gap on both sides. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us the ability to increase or decrease or put toe in or toe out into the front end of our go-kart. And it's as simple as that. You just spin the tie rod in order to, to make that change. One thing I wanna mention before we get started is when you install these on your go-kart, you're gonna to wanna to install it just like this with both tie rods screwed completely in. You're not gonna to wanna to install it, for example, with one of these tie rods hanging all the way out here like that, and this one turned all the way in. That will definitely cause you issues later on when you're going to set your alignment. So let's go over to the chassis, and I'll show you how I make this adjustment. Okay, so now we're ready to adjust our alignment. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is loosen up our locking bolts here on our tie rods. We'll do that on both sides. And what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna back the locking bolts all the way out and then bring our tie rod all the way in just like when we first installed it. Now that we got those loose, let's grab our lasers here. These are sniper lasers. Highly recommend getting a pair of these. There's, there's ways to align your cart without them if you don't have them, but they make life a lot easier. And what you'll notice is they have levels on them. And you just want to make sure that that bubble is right in the center. So here's an up close look at our sniper laser. When we turned it on here, you'll notice we have a laser in the middle. This vertical line is our center line and this horizontal line is also a center line. So anything forward of the center line will be toe out. Anything behind the center line will be toe in. Anything above the center line will be positive camber. Anything below the, the line would be negative camber. This is the grid that we will use when we go to align our go-kart. Before we go any further, we're going to want to make sure that our steering is centered. No point in adjusting your alignment if your cart's not pointing straight down the track. So what we'll do is we'll turn on both of our lasers, make sure the bubble on top is level like we stated before. And what we're looking for here is we want our two lasers to line right up on top of each other. We wouldn't want to start our alignment, for example, with our lasers like this or we just will never be able to get things straight. And even if you do get them straight, as soon as you set the go-kart down, it's gonna be pulling to one side or the other. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that both of those lasers are lined up right on top of each other before we get started. Now with our steering centered, we're ready to set our toe out as we adjust our alignment. What we'll notice um, as I turn my laser on here, is that this laser is clear out here, probably like five mils toe out. So what we're gonna wanna do is lengthen my tie rod as I explained. So what we'll do is we'll just spin the tie rod length. And what that will do is bring our laser back onto our grid. 
and we're looking for right between the center line and the first mill line. That'll give us a half mill toe out. We'll do that on each side, add them together. That'll give us our full mill toe out and our alignment should be good to go. Okay, we've got our alignment set. All we need to do is button this back up. You wanna be real careful when we do this part that we do not bump our alignment. So what I like to do is I like to hold my tie rod like this and then I'll spin my nuts in by hand. Get them as hand tight as I possibly can. Like so, and what you'll also wanna do is make sure that your tie rods are pointed the way we're tightening. We don't want one of these tie rods pointed forward and one of them flipped up pointed backwards. Once we, uh, we get it all tightened down, it'll kind of try to bind on us. So what I do is I make sure both of those are pointed forward. We hold our tie rod, just button it down. Do that to the other side. We just want to check our lasers, make sure our alignment is still okay. Hold our tie rod, tighten up our bolts as tight as we can, hand tight. Make sure our tie rod ends are both pointing the way we're going to tighten. And button it up. And you don't need to stand on these. I mean, make sure they're tight, but uh, you don't need to stand on them. Okay. Double check your alignment once everything's tight. Should be good to go.